Recently, the Bandai Digimon Twitter showed many of the early designs of the Digimon from Frontier, which is so awesome. It's crazy to think that we could have got those designs as the main one and we'll not even worry about it since we'll be familiar with it, you know? So today I decided to do some research to find some more to see if there's, you know, any other Digimon that have their own early designs that are worth showing and that don't really look too similar to their main one because, you know, what's the point to show it at this point? Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. And let's get into it. To start this off, we got the early design of the Fire God Digimon Agunomon. So looking at the first ever one is really something different from what we have now. But looking at it, what this Digimon reminds me is a character from Mega Man to be honest. I feel like this one could be part of, you know, the game as a boss or something like that. It's pretty dope. And now, you know, the second one is even more badass than the actual Agunomon, in my opinion, because it just looks like a new form that Agunomon could have. Like, it, it looks like a burst mode of Agunomon, you know what I mean? So, it really sucks that this Digimon didn't make it as an official Digimon, but it's still pretty cool to see this one as an early design. And what I really like about it is really the flames that goes around him. I think that's so cool. Still love the Agrumon that we have to this day, but this one, dude, oh my goodness. And when we think about it, it's like the flames from the second design got turned into some paint for his armor of the you know agroma that we have today you know what i mean but this is by far uh my favorite one of all the spirit dish ones next up we have lobomon i mean since we mentioned agunomon i figured that we should mention this one as well they're like big bodies together you feel me so yeah there's not much of a big difference between those two like the big difference is really the body part and a little bit of his helmet other than that there's nothing really that has changed to the design that we have today but it's still pretty cool to see how you used to look this could cool have been the design we have now you know so now we have Dustmon, and as you can see, he's in white and red, so this is what we could have got, but they decided to turn down the idea and switch it to black and red, which is really awesome, but if we did have the early design, it would have been great, because it kind of looked like an undead Digimon, you know what I mean? But in black and red, it's even better, so I'm really happy with what we have to date than the other design that could have been a thing, because, you know, I'm cool with it, black and red. Uh, you know, colors together is always a cool mix for like darker monsters and all that cool stuff, you know what I mean? So, it's pretty dope. Now to Shakuman, and this Digimon changed a lot because he had two initial designs, you know? And the first one, as okay, still looks like a bunny with a mix of a Garubomon legs or something, and it just looks so cool, you know? I love the match that he got right here because it looks like a ninja right there. This Digimon could have been so cool alongside with Renamon, you know what I mean? Like, they could have been nice buddy or something, I don't know. Or they could have been rival, you know what I mean? Like the Naruto and Sasuke rivalry, but with Renamon and this uh, version of Shakuman. That'll, that'll, that'll be so great, but you know, this one got cancelled as well for some lame, but I love it so much. And the second one looks like a goofy little snowy bear or something. I love it too, man. This one is just so cute. So the Shakuman that we have today is just Crazy, it looks so different from what the two initial designs were for this guy. Really happy with Yonkan we got. Yo, the Bargmon early design is just so freaking cool. Like, seeing him in black, red, and yellow as his main colors will have been so perfect as his design. Because, you know, all those colors together are my favorite ones. So I would love to see that one. Once again, it, it didn't, you know, it didn't take the cape for the, the Digimon series to be a thing. But... The one that we have today is great, so it's all good. And now, you know, we have the Blitzmon design 2 in yellow that looks so much different from what we have now. Um, but, you know, I still like the new one as well, so I don't mind it. It's just, it's a cool one too, man. Now, this is the Digimon that we could have seen, guys. So, it's like a type of a center with a horse unicorn head and, you know... You got all those various pieces of armor wings. You have like a lace that appears to be like a cane or a laser or some type of gun. So it's kind of a wild Digimon. For some reason they didn't continue that design. And it would have been dope to see in the future or something like that. Like when I'm thinking right now about it guys. I hope that we get like another batch of new Digimon. Because it's been a minute where we got like a ton of new Digimon. It's so cool. But this one is really awesome. Like I wish we saw him with just Centaurosmon side by side. Finding you know other monsters or something like that. So here's the early designs of Starmon, Tanamon, and Odomamon. So, you know, to start this up, Starmon looks so bad, I'm not even gonna lie, like, this one is just not good. Like, I'm really glad that they used the one that we have today than this one that they had planned on, you know, using, like, seriously. 
And now, you know, we have Tanaman that just looks like a nasty, ugly plant. Just don't like this one. It looks just so horrifying. It's crazy to see him look like that to this, you know? Now he just looks a, like a happy monster rather than just a, a monster that hates his life or something. And for last, we got Otomamon that just looked like a little cute fish. It's not even bad, um, but I still really like the new one that we have today. Then the old one, but it's still pretty cool. Now to Hackmon, one of my favorite rookie Digimon, by the way. I just love his design so much, but early on, it was something else. If you look at the first one, as you can see, guys, it just looks like a... Um, I don't know, like a cat mixed with like many weird creatures or something like that. It's not that good whatsoever. Then to the second one, that's when it started to actually look like what we have today. Then the third one looks, you know, pretty dope too. And then we got the fourth one that looks like what we have today. And what I noticed is that at first, Hypemon, I guess, was supposed to have some wings, you know. And then I guess he got decided to switch. I guess it's decided to switch it to a cape, which is pretty cool, and that's the Hackman we have today, so I'm not against that. <laughs> so here we got the Mastermind early concept, and to be honest, that don't even look like the future of Angel Woman and Lady Devimon. It just looks like two other female Digimon that fused together to make this one. But I must say that this early concept is pretty dope. Like, I really love the big sword that this Digimon held and the big ass arm too. Like, what the heck? Like, this is crazy. It kind of reminds me of Hellboy with that goddamn big ass arms, you know what I mean? That's freaking cool. And this one just looks so godly, you know? It looks like a godly god Digimon. And it just seems like a super powerful Digimon compared to the Massimo we have. You know, Massimo is pretty strong. You know, don't get me wrong, but this one just looks like a super powerful one that could be like in the cold zone and just battle every single opponent with just one swing or something, you know? So it really sucks to not see this one be a thing. Like, come on. So this is the early designs of Flamemon, and seriously, guys, this one looks so much better than the one we have now. Like, seriously, it just makes me sad to see how many cool early designs were a thing, but just didn't make it for the series, you know what I mean? Like, especially this one, it would have been so perfect for early design of Agrumon as well. Like, they could have just made like a not ton of forms for those two, you know what I mean? To be a thing, but I guess not. Seriously, it just looks so cool. Here's Spider-Man Gossip Art, and they all look super cool because they don't look like the Spider-Man that we have today, and it just looks like a couple of Digimon that are just different from, you know, Spider-Man. So it's pretty sad at the same time because well I've been so cool to just see all of those be a thing for Digimon where they can fight all together as a group and just do some crazy stuff you know what I mean but I'm still really happy with the one that we have today it just kind of sucks that they kind of like just throw all those guys away because I don't know they didn't feel like putting all of them out there here we go Ognumon one terrified Digimon and the early concept of this guy is so much different to what we have today like all four are just some crazy and terrifying Digimon if I'm being honest with you I mean I just think all those designs could have been like many forms of Agnoman instead of just one that, you know, the one that we have now. So it would have been so cool because I feel like, you know, the fact that this is like the fusion of all the Demon Lords together would have been sick to just see a few alternate forms for this guy to show how strong he is. He's really strong already, but you know what I mean? Like it would have just been even more crazier if this was a thing. And especially the last one, the Samurai like type Digimon, I don't like. I don't know what this is called, but... It just looks so powerful and dope. I love that one so much more. Next up is the main Digimon for Digimon Rearise, Erismon. So look at the early concept. It's kind of wild because Erismon was much more big and fat. And you know, it looks like a mix of a uh, rat slash demon and a little bit of headshot at the time. So I'm really happy that they didn't use this one. It would have been so weird to see this one as the main cover for Digimon Rearise when I think about it. So I really like the one that we have now because it looks like... um. A Digimon that could be part of the Sonic Head the Headshot franchise, you know what I mean? So I'm really happy with the oncom we have today. To finish this off, we got the Omega Mon early designs. And yes, guys, you hear me right. And you know, this really gave me some chills when I saw that for the first time because it just looks so crazy. And you'll see. So the first one, as I can see, lo just looks like a mix of War Greymon on top and with the, you know, Metal Garamon bottom just combined together. And that's pretty much what this Omega Mon looks like, you know, at the time. So it's pretty cool. It's just, it's not something I was expecting to look like. You know, I was kind of expecting like a concept of an Omega Mon or something that we have today, but it's nothing like what we have. And then on the second wall, we got a freaking crazy like warrior 
War Greymon and Metal Garymon Fusion right here. That looks so cool because on his armor you can see that he got the two crests, which makes it so badass. And what this Digimon reminds me, to be honest, is Mercurumon. I feel like, you know, he could have been part of the 12 Olympus when I look at him right now. But seriously, that's what he reminds me. And it just looks dope. And I feel like they got, you know, the influence for this one. Uh, for, you know, Mercurumon from that early design, maybe. I don't know. That's what I think. But maybe not. But it just seems like it could have been a cool Digimon. Maybe, you know, one day we'll see this one to be a thing at some point. And then here we have the last one. That looks completely different from the two early designs and still don't look like Omega Man that we have today, like the other two. And I really like this one, but seriously, the second one, guys, is just so amazing. Like, I love it so much. And it just makes me wonder, how did they came up with the Omega Man that we have today? Because if we look at the early designs, there's nothing that looks like the Omega Man, you know? So, I wonder what made them change to what we have now. But I'm really happy with the Oncom. Seriously, Omega Man is one of the greatest Digimon out there. So, nothing to say other than that. So, yeah. That was many of the early designs of some unused characters designed for Digimon. So, there's many out there. But I figured those are really the ones that are mind-blowing to me. So, I figured that I should show you guys those ones. But if there's any early designs that you know of that I didn't mention that I should have, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below because maybe there's one that I don't even know and many others don't know that are super mind-blowing because they just don't look like what we have today, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that sexy like button. I'll be so greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, you should totally subscribe for more Digimon content, you know what I mean? And now I should be a little bit more consistent with my content. Been pretty buzzy with work, but now I'm back on my grind guys, so stay tuned for some crazy dope uploads coming your way later this week. And the other one, and the other one, you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> peace out and have an amazing Gucci sexy day. You know it.